Hi guys, Ray again, and this is my What's in My Tech video. Before starting, I want to say that I was inspired by Lanx for this video, whose channel I will leave in the description box below, and who's one of my favorite YouTubers. Although many people before had already done videos like what's on my iPad or what's on my phone, she's been the first one I've seen around including all of her tech in one single video. And I just liked the overall idea, so here I am, even though this video is only gonna cover my phone and my iPad. I'll start off with my iPad, which is a 2018, compatible with Apple Pencil, as it's the fastest to go over. And of course, the first thing you'll notice by trying to unlock it is my lock screen, which is a Zelda Breath of the Wild fan art, just like the actual home screen, since I'm a Zelda addict, but um, let's cover this in another video. First off, we have the basic iPod clock, then there's the school folder to store all of my school-related apps. In particular, I have some ebook apps for my school books, which are BookTab, MEE2, HubSmart and Hub Young. Then I have X Formula, which I used to write expressions on my iPad when I need precise formulas in my notes. The File app, of course, which lies here just in case I'm searching for any documents. My Google Meet app, my Google Drive and my Gmail app, which are all part of the G Suite bundle our school gave us as a tool for online learning when we were in quarantine. And then my Noteblock app, which is a scanner app, I use to scan any notes I want to keep in my Google Drive, even though I've been using it on my phone much more lately. Then we have a learning folder in which I store the apps I use to learn programming, which are Grasshopper, Swift Playgrounds, and this one was specifically created by Apple. Udemy. Programming Hero. And then I have one note, on which I write fast notes I don't need to save for long and Trello, which I use for organizing tasks and when to do them. The last folder is a miscellaneous folder in which I keep system apps and the rest of the apps which I didn't think deserved the folder per se, and these are messages, Safari, notes, where's my phone, Instagram, which is always useful to have here too, VLC video player for when some video formats don't run on my iPad, Netflix, Photos, Skype, Camera, Pinterest for inspiration, SkyGo to watch Formula 1 Grand Prix whenever I'm not home, YouTube of course, Lake, which is an adorable and amazing anti-stress coloring app, and I absolutely adore the drawings. and documents for whenever the file app isn't enough for my needs. In my doc, which I left as the last to cover, there's the settings app, then Procreate, which is a drawing app I use for my artistic needs and where I create my thumbnails. The App Store, of course, then Telegram, which is very useful whenever I need to send moderately small files from my phone to my iPad or from my iPad to my PC or vice versa. Then we have Google Chrome, Google To Do App, Google Documents,
and the Google Calendar, where I keep all of my timetables and schedules synchronized. And that's it for my iPad. Going on to my phone, first thing you'll notice is my Nico D'Angelo home screen, which I fell in love with as I'm reading the whole Percy Jackson series for the second time. The first app in my navigation dock is Telegram again, and then I have a folder for the useful apps I always want to keep into easy access, like the clock, mail, calculator, play store, recorder, music, notepad, and so on. Then I have Chrome, and after that comes another folder in which I keep the phone and the message app, which didn't fit in the dock otherwise. And at the other end of my dock, I have WhatsApp, of course. Moving to my main home screen, I have a Pix folder for photo-related stuff, like my gallery and my camera, PixArt for photo editing, Pinterest for inspiration and references, and Feed Preview for my Instagram feed. Next, I have my video folder, in which I keep YouTube Studio for keeping track of YouTube stats, VLLO for video editing, Dolby On to record the best quality sound, Video to MP3 which is a simple converter and Video Other which is useful to download videos from the internet. And then we have Video Noise Remover, whose name is pretty self-explanatory. Then I have a productivity folder in which I keep some productivity apps I love, which are Focus Plant for long time focus, Plant Nanny for staying constantly hydrated. Evocation for habits. For Fortune City for keeping track of money spent. Pixel.fun, which is more of an anti-stress pixel coloring app, which I put here because I used to play it when I listened to audiobooks or podcasts and had nothing to do. Udemy for learning, like on the iPad. And in the end, Google Drive, Google Calendar and Mega for cloud storage. The next folder is the social one, and in this one I keep Instagram Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, League Plus, which is somewhat like a League of Legends social app to see news and stay in touch with friends through chat, and Twitch. Next, I have the Fun folder, which is related to entertainment, which is not gaming related, like TV time to track TV shows. Spotify for music, MA Book, which is an audiobook player, Formula One, which is for Formula One related news, of course, Goodreads to keep track of the books and mangas I'm reading, Shazam to discover music I like, Manga Reader to <coughs> read scans. <coughs> <clears throat> what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. Last.fm to keep track of my music taste. And Panel Scrubler, which is a Last.fm third-party app. Then we have Guitar Tuna to tune my guitar. Tabs for guitar chords.
Netflix, Recipe Keeper to save the recipes I like, and fonts to write stuff in fancy fonts, of course. As for what concerns the game folder, I have eTaboo to play Taboo with friends, alongside the Just Dance controller app, and then I have OPGG for League of Legends stats, Pokemon Cafe, which is a really cute and adorable Candy Crush type of game with the cutest drawings and aesthetic, plus it's an official Pokemon game, I mean! Then I have Elevate for somewhat of a daily brain training. Fancade, which incorporates a whole bunch of arcade games in such a cute aesthetic that I just couldn't help but love, and also you can create your own, so it's so cool. <laughs> Next we have the Stranger Things game, in an old RPG type of graphic, which I haven't played because I haven't watched the series yet, but I really really liked its aesthetic. Then we have the Arcana, because, you know, guilty pleasures can't be missing. What's Cooking, which is another game about cooking with adorable aesthetic. And in the end, Dr. Wolf, which is a chess game which I haven't tried out yet. The last main screen folder is the useful folder, in which I keep apps related to money, cards, phone credit, and in the end the weather app. Swipe into the left, you'll find another bunch of folders, pretty similar to my iPod ones, apart from the second useful folder, in which I keep system apps, and the shopping one, in which I keep Amazon, IBS, AliExpress, and Redbubble. Then we have a music widget with Jojo Golden Winds opening in evidence and the Google Calendar widget alongside a small Spotify playlist icon in the center among the folders which is my coffee shop white noise playlist and I leave the link in the description box below if you want to check it out. Then double swiping right you'll just find a bunch of widgets which are my time and weather widget the Spotify widget, alongside my August Spotify playlist icon for easier access, the audiobook player widget, and my countdown to uni widget. And that's it! This is all I have on my phone as well. And we're done for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like and a comment below to let me know, and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. See you in the next video, bye!